We are now going to show you how to use a triple beam balance. When you put your balance down, if there happen to be objects on the table along with it, either papers, rulers, whatever it is, come on down and go ahead and remove the ruler. Now that you have the balance on level ground, take the three sliders that you have here and make sure they're all the way to the zero. Make sure that you are all the way down and the arrow is pointing exactly on the zero and it's in the slot of the zero. You feel it, you can hear it, and you also hear this one. It's in the slot. Then you come down to this end and see if it is actually on the zero mark. If it's a little bit off, you can go ahead and turn a dial down here on the other end, down here. And this dial you can turn in and out. The further you turn it out, it will go ahead and make it rise up. And if you turn it in, it will make it go down. So first, let it sit there, let it adjust, go up and down a little bit, up a little bit high. So we need to turn it in and then let it balance. This may take a couple of tries. And it's fine settling down to close to zero. Just one last little nudge in on the knob. And it should settle down to the zero mark. And now we have it. It's called balanced and teared. When you begin to uh, mass a weight, you set it into the center, not the side, but the center of the balance. This weight actually says this is 147.5 grams actual weight. Let's check it out. So we come along the scale, and we put it on 100, 40, 7, And we're getting close, and the balance is, oh, it's just a little bit high, so we've got to knock it down a little bit, so we come down here, and then we come along, and we need to add a little bit more weight, so let's try 137.5 exactly, and then see if this balances. That's good. one good way of checking your balance, is take a known weight, and measure it, and see if it is that weight on the balance and we are close to zero. So yes, we now have a good balance. And again we'd like to measure an object. So we go ahead and place the object on the balance. Notice that we're way over the top so we need to add some weights and balance it out. So the first thing we do is maybe first try the 100. Is it too much? Nope. Try the stick to 100. Oh, too much. Back it off. So we just have 100. So it's between 100 and 200. Then we take the other one and see, oh, 20 is too much. 10 is still too much. Down to zero, up, balance up. So it's between 100 and 110. So we come now down to the third scale, and then we can move, slide it over, and continue to slide it over until we see that the balance is starting to move toward the center line. And then as I back off, you can see that I can Manipulate and see where this is at until it finally gets to the zero. And keep moving just a little bit until it bounces out. Oh, that's not enough. A little bit more. A little bit more. Keep adding one gram at a time or 0.1 grams at a time until you get it nicely balanced. Good. So we're getting closer and you can see that it's pretty close to the zero mark. And then we read off the scales. That says 4.4. .4. Go to the nearest line. So we know it is 100, 0, so it's not 110, it's 100, and 4. .4.